Welcome, welcome, everyone, to Chess PT for the 490. I'm your host, Wiz. Today, we're going to play a chess variant, Advancing King Chess. In this variant, your king can only advance. The rules are very simple, so let me just put them on the screen right here. Oh, that's one of my favorite games, Notepad. The king may only move or attack forward. All right, so if you want to play that with me right now, watching the live show at twitch.tv slash chesswiz, let's go do it. I'm going to put a challenge here in the chat. I also have some challengers that I could select from play with it. No, stop. I don't want to play crazy house. I'm not very good at computers, so let's try again. All right, so standard real-time rated because I'm insane. Put this here in the chat. For those of you just joining in the chat, we're playing a chess variant. Take the challenge if you want to play the chess variant. And if no one takes the challenge in negative four seconds, whoops, never mind, someone did. Bar Manitan is ready to play. The king may only move or attack forward, so no castling. Yeah. This is going to be really, really powerful. Uh, attacks, for example, this pawn cannot be guarded. So I'm going to play the Whatchamadingle, I forget the name, Gambit. This is a very powerful Gambit, because look what you can do. <laughs> you can play... Now, this might look stupid, but this is a very famous opening trick that he has already not fallen into. The way he does is he needs to defend his pawn, so he plays here, and then BAM! I check him, and then I take this. Watch this. Boom! Bam! Boom! What a great opening trick that you can use once against each human being who has not yet been tricked by it. Then you can't, because they're like, I'm definitely not moving my bishop out of here or here. Uh, but uh, before that happens, they are not aware of the danger. People don't generally look ahead into future positions. When they're playing chess, they just look at right now. Right now, I can move this bishop here, and it will be there instead of where it was. Great! They don't think, like, what is he going to do next? That's pretty advanced. Most people don't do that. Pretty sure I've already been tricked by it before. <laughs> I'll just send him the happy face, because this indicates, oh, now I've grown a mustache. Well, that's similar to a happy face. I'll take this. Now, kings can only capture and advance forward. So this pawn is not guarded. So I'm pretty eager to destroy him. This this looks like a pretty good attack, though. He's having trouble on the dark squares, because two attackers here, he seems to not have much that he can do about this. A trade simply because I'm winning. I do want to move this pawn, but it has a small downside that I would just lose it for nothing. So we'll, we'll hold on for now and move it later. By the way, I recovered my water bottle, and now I can drink without smashing my nose. Mm. And listen to how it changes my voice. Listen to how it changes my voice. I don't have anything to do right now, so that's why I'm doing that. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Is this a great way to spend time? I mean, you could be doing something... Whoops, I'm cheating. You could be doing something useful with your time, but... Oh, okay, I'll take this instead. But no, you're watching Chesapeake TV. Change the sound of this voice. Well, I'm glad you're wasting your time in that way. I haven't figured out yet if anything you do matters. Still working on that one, but just in case it doesn't, better watch this whole episode on 1x speed. Or better yet, 0.5x. Have you tried 0.25x? Did you know you can click that little gear and actually make it slower, that gear down there, and actually make the video slower, and then it can be like, welcome, welcome to... <laughs> I don't know what it's welcome to. Okay, so I'm, I'm realizing I cannot move my king. So that means the rooks. This is an important thing about the rooks. They have to... Whoops, I've just cheated again. How did that happen? Apparently, if you left-click the king and then left-click the rook, I need to take back. I cheated again. LOL! Sending lots of love here. Uh, take back, please. This is actually a very powerful move. Um, the purpose of the castling is twofold. You might think it's to get the king out of the way, but actually rooks do much better when the king is out of the way. One, two, three. Hold on, I'm counting. Four. One, two, three, four. Equal quantity means I'm properly defended. Plus he's pinned, so I think I'm okay with this move. So I'm really eager to play f5, actually, rook f8 and f5, because, let's make that red so it's all color-coordinated, because the rooks are really blocked out. If you've ever tried playing a game without castling, you'll immediately notice the problem with the rooks. They are separated, they each have to do their own thing. It's strictly worse. Very strictly, very worse. Yeah, I could take that, but let's just bring the rooks in here. Hmm. Uh, he cheats. Great move. Great cheat. That would be a good move if it were legal. He's like, okay, I can't castle. Guess I'll cheat in a different manner. Let's make that blue. Just so you know what I mean. So, we've got something going on in the chat. Let's see. 
Kramnik would be proud of this variant, according to Mr. T. That's the way Mr. T talks. I mean, he would like it. It's not his variant, though. Okay? Forward. Uh, is that not forward? Straight. Straight forward. Sorry, man. I'm assuming it's a man because the other kind of person doesn't spend a lot of time with me. All right. The king may only move or attack straight forward. <laughs> Let's add that to the rules there just so we know from now on. That's the rules. Okay. So since this king has to stay on this file, I can pretty much get checkmated if I'm not careful. Let's see, because rook takes rook would be checkmate. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, but this looks pretty good. There's there's risks, though. Like, if I take his queen, he takes my rook. Okay, then he just plays his rook down here. Fortunately, my knight covers that because serious danger. Serious. In fact, let's play this. <laughs> I know it looks silly, but after you consider the pin, it looks pretty smart. And then I'm going to just build up pressure here, build up pressure, build up pressure, build up pressure until finally the pressure will be released. What did you expect would happen? Of course, that's what's going to happen after you build up pressure. Okay, so I can trade rooks, but I won't. I'll just take him. Make his king advance. This is hilarious. <laughs> Come on, king. And now you're dead. You can't advance anymore, but you can trade your rook for that. So go ahead and do that. And then I will win. <laughs> this is what a funny variant. GG. You can actually rook takes knight, but I won't mention that to him through this box of chat because uh, I would just recapture and then checkmate him. So good game. Do you want to try again, Barmanistan? One, whoops, I've just clicked buy. Common malady I have is to click buy by accident. Uh, but hello again, so I'll just click hi now, save time. <laughs> hello, <laughs> we're back. The king may only move or attack straight forward. So I'm really eager to play the white pieces in this variant because I remember last time I was talking about this F pawn. Well, it is seriously weak. I mean, if I could just take it, it would be checkmate. The king can't recapture. So I'm going to go after it with all I've got. And by that, I mean queen and bishop because that's pretty much all I've got for this kind of attack. Checkmate. Checkmate Jimmy X. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. One time I beat a guy named Jimmy X and I was so happy. I was so happy that I said, checkmate Jimmy X. Pretty cool story, huh? I <laughs> see what's happening. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a cheat. That you can't do that. Okay, want to play again? Oh, we can't play anymore. So what I'm going to do now is actually challenge Barmanitan because he deserves a little more redemptive time here. And then we'll take one of these challengers. We've got Genki. We've got Ratitatete, who's not visible because he's chopped off. And then we've got Barmanitan himself, which is my challenge. Okay. What was I saying? Something about bishops. All I've got. Hmm. Something after that. I was saying something really profound. I was eager to say it. Let's play the French defense. Seems like a good defense for blocking this diagonal. Okay. Hello there. I see what you're trying to do. I will see your queen of three and match you a queen of six. I seem to have spittled on the camera, so let's clean that up a little bit there. Uh, wasn't that a forward move? It's not straightforward. Okay. So let's add the word straight to the rules. The king may only move or attack straight Forward. You got that? Straight. Very straight. This is why it's called straight king chess. Oh, it's not called that? Well, it is now. I get to say what it's called, and I'm saying it. The reason I've played this is so that I can checkmate him, actually. <laughs> and I almost can. <laughs> he has to throw away a, a bunch of garbage to prevent it. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Okay. So now that I'm just straight up winning, I would love to check the guy. I would love to take this pawn, but it seems I would lose. So <laughs> let's put the knight over here just to guard this. Knights on the rim are glowy. I think that's the way the saying works. Could have trapped my rook. Working on it. That's how you spell working, right? Okay, so we'll take this, and then we'll take this. I think that's what he's talking about. And then we'll take this, and then we'll move to Z0, continuing off in that direction. Hmm. What can he even do about this? I guess he could play knight c3. Pretty good move. He does not want to, so I'll now destroy him. Actually, this check looks pretty good. He would block with a pawn. Boring. I don't care about that stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to checkmate him. This should be checkmate. He takes the knight, threatening checkmate. Okay, So then I take his knight, threatening checkmate also, uh, which actually is kind of checkmate. Oh, he's advancing. What do I do? This. <laughs> Colon D. <laughs> oh, you know what this is? It's a euphemism 
Uh, that's not straightforward. Yo, he is sad, but I'm happy. There's kind of an inverse relationship here between our moods. I'm going to take another challenger. Thank you, Genki, for playing three times and demonstrating. You demonstrated the power of me. So thank you very much. Okay, so let's try another French defense. In this game, we're playing against Genki Chess. Are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. He says, okay. What does that mean? Lock? Lock? I don't know. Okay. Do we really have to play queen of six? Now, let's think it over. No, we don't. We can play queen e7. Yeah, that's also horrible. Hmm. The knight h6 is not a great plan when the bishop can, can take it. It's better when it can't. So let's play it when it can't. Let's bring the bishop out. We can't castle. Don't forget, castling illegal. So we're going to have to focus real hard here on this game because Genki Chess is rated negative four points higher than I am, and it's a rated game, so it's very important that I outperform him and get first place. Very important to me. So I'm going to fan counter the bishop. It seems like a pretty good diagonal. And then I think I might play c5. I'll bring the knight out for sure. This square looks good. It's tough to decide. In 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 chess games... I'll try to drink ways here. <laughs> in chess games where... There's a lot of pawns fighting in the center. Maybe I'll play this now. Hmm. In games where you're doing a lot of pawn levering, the c-pawn is a very useful pawn to use. And so c5 often happens. Let's just bump this up a square. I don't care what happens here. Um, however, in games where you just play e4, e5, and then not a lot else happens, you don't tend to use the c-pawn necessarily. He has a beautiful shape, though. I don't know what to do. Literally don't know what to do. I can't castle. <gasps> a new follower. A new follower. Oh, oh. Um, I'll touch my face, I guess. I guess I'll touch my face. I told you guys that I would play this for sure. So let's get the pawn out. We'll use the c-pawn. We'll get the pawn out. I don't know if advancing my king is a good idea. It's nice because I can connect the rooks and make them do useful things. Oh, no. This is not good. Just a little too slow in my development. Now I can't bring the knight out. Okay, I'm going to have to play d6. Oh, see what's happening now? My position's getting worse instead of better. I hate it when that happens. The knight is trapped. <laughs> no! We're demonstrating the power of him. That's much worse than the power of me. Hmm. My knight is actually literally trapped, and I can't move it here or here or here. And I can't defend it, so that's super bad. So we're going to play the brilliant intermezzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now my knight can come out. I guess I should have just followed through on my promise and moved the knight there back when I could. That would have been great. Mm. Mm. Water's helping. I mean, I was feeling bad, and now I'm feeling better. Water. It's not over yet. I still have several things that can checkmate him. The, uh, the plan here is to check him in such a way that he loses. What is he doing? What in the world? Oh, that. And I'm not very smart. Well, I'm the second smartest player in this chess game. Smartness has a very interesting relationship to me. It is me. I am smartness. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm actually trying to figure out. Among the things I'm trying to solve here, uh, one of them, as I mentioned, was... Okay, I'm pretty much dead now. I'm dead. I actually wanted him to just like move somewhere so that I could check him and then check him and then check him and win. That wasn't happening though, unfortunately for me. Okay, so what happened in that game? I didn't develop my pieces. So in this game, I will develop my pieces and that will be a sharp contrast from the previous game. Development is where you move them out off the back rank, something I didn't do with either of these. Big mistake. So one of the things I'm trying to solve besides does anything matter is does it matter what people think of you? I made a video on my other YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel about chess. If you look up Kronos, it's not about chess, doofus. <laughs> this is the video, it's a channel about chess. It's about cryptocurrencies, like Bitcoin. And if you look up Kronos, like the chess clock, <laughs> have you ever heard of the Kronos chess clock? No? Okay, well, first look that up and then be like, okay, that's how you spell it. And then, and then look up the, look up the, I can't castle, hold on. The, the YouTube channel. And then you can look at the video called 
don't it's called keep your crypto to yourself it's a pretty great title i mean there is no other cryptocurrency channel where you're gonna learn not to tell people about cryptocurrency but the basic point of the video is don't tell people about cryptocurrency which you know it's pretty strange advice i mean it's a crypto channel don't you want to tell no no why not and i talked about it in the video he's forking me i think i can get some fun going with this move i'll regret that fun though i mean i could take this text and write it's pretty oh, oh oh this is pretty good like so i go i play here and he's like oh i could do some things right and then that's going to be checking. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, this will be great. Uh, why not? Because the reason you shouldn't tell people about cryptocurrency, it comes down to they end up hating you, which actually raises a very good question. Does it matter if people hate you? I thought yes. And then someone commented, everyone's responsible for their own decisions. Don't worry about what other people think of you. And I'm like, yeah, don't worry about what other people think of you. And then I was like, wait, that means you shouldn't care if people hate you. And, and, then, and then I didn't know anything. The more I learned, the less I know. He's trying to win, devious person. Let's just keep developing, actually. Queen h5 doesn't lead to anything good yet. I really want to checkmate him. Can I do to him what he did to me in a sort of golden rule chess adventure? I don't know. I should open up the center. Oh, I should play rook f1 and f4. That would probably be fun. Or maybe e5. I'm, I'm getting some ideas here. These are great. I like f4. Get both rooks in the game. It's hard to get the rooks in the game, so that's what I'll work on. Getting those rooks in. Does it matter if people hate you? I think it really matters if people hate you, actually. Uh, and I'll, I'll explain why. <laughs> I don't even know if I should. I mean, like, what is it? I'm sure you're all already convinced that it matters. So there's all, it's only the really obsessive philosophers who are wondering that right now. And I know which two of you who are watching is an obsessive philosopher who wonders this. So I can just tell you guys afterward. Don't have to tell everybody why that's important. Because it's pretty intuitive. Like, if people hate you, then you feel bad. That's one reason that you should uh, not be hated. <laughs> this is one of many, actually. But it's a pretty good reason. Let's see. The bishop is becoming a tall pawn. It is just part of this beautiful pawn chain. That's not good. So let's see what we can do with it to make it better. Hmm. All right, so we're going to play. Oh, that would throw away the pawn. Yeah, but then the bishop comes out. Okay, great. I'm actually kind of liking king e2. And then I can double up my rooks and just... Oh, see, he's doing the same thing the same thing well watch this dark squared bishop comes in here oh i can't take that but i can move here this is a very strong attack watch i take this knight oh i'm a genius <laughs> look at this genius i am wham chess whiz brilliant okay so if he takes the queen this is checkmate that's why i took the knight gg checkmate yo and um, because we're playing this variant by the way for those of you who just wandered in, like, what is this brilliancy? <laughs> like, that's the brilliancy. The king can only move or attack forward, so that's checkmate. But the, here's the thing. If he takes this rook, then I can take here another brilliant brilliancy. He takes me, I take him, and that's checkmate too, because straightforward is the only legal move for the king. Mind blown. Brilliant move. This is why we watch Chesapeake TV and spit on the camera, because... Ah, it's not good enough. You know how this website is like, you can't type that. You already did. XOXO. <laughs> it actually says, you typed that recently, so I won't type it. And more punctuation will not do the trick. Fortunately, if you send hugs and kisses, that does the trick. So I just had to add XOXO to the end there. Kinky chess. Hope you like the love. Actually, don't like it too much. Okay, I like this, though. I like this just the right amount. Because mm. this pawn is not defended. Kings only move forward. So this is going to be a pretty strong attack. Very glad I was able to get bishop c5 out here before he played d4. d4 would really strengthen, never mind, his center, but apparently he doesn't care about that. Um, but the bishop prevents that move, and now his center is somewhat weak. For example, entirely missing is another way to say that. So uh, this move would be very strong, I think. If he takes, I take the bishop, he's forced up. Is that good to force him up? I think then this bishop could start destroying his face. Overall, pretty good for me. 
other options are here, here, here. Those all look significantly inferior. We also have this move, which isn't instantly losing. Other than that, can't say much for it. So let's go into the jungle here. The knight is now trapped. Oh, he's falling for my trap. And now, and now, the Bishop of Doom. What can he even do? He needs to play b3, c4. But I saw that with my vision of the future. Oh, no! Yes, yes. Checkmate. Soon. Checkmate. <laughs> okay, I'm sending you some checkmates. Meat. You know what meat means? M-E-T-E. -E. It means to give out. I'm giving out a checkmate. All right. We've played Genki Chess three times, GGS. He lost a lot of rating points. What that tells me is he hasn't played a lot of Blitz chess, and so his rating is very volatile. I'm going to play with Rebetete next, and then we'll be back to the challenging chat. So if you're watching live right now and you're in the chat, you have your chance to play right after this. I'm going to put a link to the game in the chat. First to click gets the game. All right, so I'm really interested in the F-pawn. So how can I, how can I, <laughs> oops, <laughs> I was going to play e5 <laughs> because that was such a good opening. Maybe I'll play it this move. I mean, yeah, <laughs> okay, chess whiz, you know how to do it. Two moves, because look, I can, I can already play the trap because his bishop is already moved. This is perfect. e6, e5. I don't even know what this opening is called. It's so good. It probably doesn't even have a name. It's too good for the opening books. Look how I'm winning. Very win. Mm. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's not every day you can win like this. Just take all the things, spill your water. Pretty much a win now. Uh, I think I'll here and then here, and then that'll be checkmate. Because take, take, and the bishop. No, he can move up. Okay. So we'll still, still go toward it. I won't play it, but we'll go toward it. Okay, I seem to have bl blundered my rook. Luckily, I don't need rooks. Where we're going, we don't need rooks. Actually, I got a problem right here. That's a pretty big problem. Anything I can do that's really smart right now that would help with that problem? Yeah, that move is brilliant. Okay, so now that I have a pawn, a rook, and a pawn hanging, the best move is to hang another pawn. That will distract him from the other hanging pieces. Brilliant idea, Chess Wiz. This, this is pretty serious. Pretty serious, so I'll deal with that by ignoring it. There's two ways to deal with problems. One is to worry constantly, and the other is to ignore all problems. As you can see, my modus operandi, which is, wow, I had three <laughs> huge problems, not just two. That's good to know. Okay, take my other rook. I don't need rooks, like I said, to win this game. Um, modus operandi is, is Latin for... Uh, mode of operation, but it sounds so much cooler. I mean, are you gonna be like my mode of operation is I blunder rooks? I mean that sounds so stupid people wouldn't even want to be your friend But if you're like rook blundering is my modus operandi People are gonna follow and subscribe on that, right? If I knew any bad words, that's what I'd say I'd be like they're gonna follow and subscribe that bad word piece of bad word That's what they that's what I do, but this is g-rated actually. This is i-rated This show is i-rated because I'm the only one who watches it <laughs> It's not funny. Okay. I take this. He has two defenders, but one is currently occupied, so that works great. It also distracts him from the fact that he has <laughs> this for free. <laughs> take, take, take. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna mix it up a bit, countering his blunder with my blunder. You can see he hasn't taken my rook yet, and this is going to significantly distract him. He's got other things to look at, so he's not gonna take the rook. Yes, 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 yes. I'm actually being completely serious when I say that ignoring problems is my modus operandi. It really is. Uh, it is my one weakness, besides my muscles. My other weakness is my modus operandi of check it out, check it out, queen b1 double exclam, checkmate. Let's, let's do another checkmate here. Checkmate. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Because kings can only move forwards, except now when they can't move anywhere. Oh, yeah. I promised a challenge in the chat. We have a challenger from the chessboard breaker, but he's not in the chat. Well, he might also be in the chat. Good game, Rititit. Thanks for showing off my elite skills. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the chat here. See if anyone wants to play. If no one does, no problem. I have also the chessboard breaker who will be my friend. <gasps> 
Chess Boy Breaker is my 2X friend. Hearts to you, Chess Wiz. So glad. Wait, I have Chess Wiz. Never mind. I love Chess Wiz, but I also love Chess Board Breaker. When I say chess, I just think Wiz after. I don't think Board Breaker. Who does that? So that's why I say Chess Wiz. I say what I think. You know what I do. I say what I think. I think what I say. Sometimes I say without thinking. K colon D. Let's do this. Let's take his F on. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Oh, nice try. But I've got uh, quite a pawn chain here. Protecting my thing from your thing. All right. No, that doesn't even work. All right. Queen f6. No, look. Look. Check. He pushes. Check. He plays here. Check. <laughs> Take the rack. Is it going to work? Okay, so I play out here. He might just defend the pawn, but that would be so boring. Why would he do such a boring thing? Uh, I would be hanging this. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't move my queen on the fourth move. Anyone thought of that? Huh? Huh? This water bottle is a great chin massager. That's what I've discovered in this game. You should try to learn something new every game. Sometimes you only discover the dual purpose of your chin massager, but you should at least discover something. Whoa, this is going to be good, Jack. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to be crazy. Bam, come on up here, king. I got a surprise for you. Okay, where do we put the next check? It's going to be a brutal check. Um... Knight here? Knights or bishops? Bishop here? Ah, I can't quite destroy him yet. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to pin the knight. And then we're going to move the knight here. Check, check. And pull him up again. This will be great. He might be thinking, okay, I'm going to discover check him. But you cannot do that, chessboard breaker. Because your king will always be blocking that. No matter where it moves, it'll be in the way. So I'm not at all worried about impossibilities. Not at all worried. Of course, I am not at all worried about certainties either. Because I'm just not a worrying type of guy. I'm more of an ignore problems type of guy, remember? So definitely not worried about that. Let's see. Knight d4 check. Forcing him up. And then knight here check me. This, this looks pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh. Send him some O's to show how I feel bad for his... Second place finish in this game. Check meet. And then there's a period just to show its finality. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Let's play again. Check of chessboard breaker. Oh, no. I have another challenger. It's chessboard breaker. How weird. I also have no challenges. You can't see any of that, but I don't care. I don't care what you can see because I'm not you. Wait a minute. What about empathy? Oh, it really matters what you feel and think right now. Let's let's simulate some empathy. Some of us have to do that. We don't have we don't have that built in. That built in thing. You know how it is. We all kind of feel this way sometimes, don't we? Don't we? Where you're like, I just feel like I'm pretending to be nice, but I'm actually a total jerk. You don't feel that way. Um. Okay, I, I guess it's just me. Never mind then. I'll just pretend you do, because I can't hear what you're saying right now. It's kind of a one-way dialogue, more of a monologue, if you ask me. How do I get this pawn? I want to get it. I don't want to capture it. I want to get it. I don't want to take it. I don't want to get it. I don't want to ensnare it or imprison it. I want to get it. How do I get that pawn? Probably this way. Don't block that. No! Now how do I get it? I'm just not getting it. What if I push? Take, 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 take. This is good. This is good. It's not like I'm going to castle. No, I'll never castle. Ooh, this could be bad if, it, if I push. Eventually, you know, after he takes and then, and then that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't move my king up. What do I do right now? Okay, let's come to this. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, we got to bring in pieces. That's what you do in chess. Use your whole army. Don't just use your queen. This is a total beginner's mistake and a chess whiz. Chess whiz and beginners, they make this mistake, which is they just think, how can I use my queen to win the game? But you want to do is use all your things, such as your prefrontal cortex and your rooks. So use those things as well. So that's why I've moved my queen, so I can bring my rook here. And then I'll actually be winning by a rook, because if you think about it, his rooks are not participating. What we call this is non-participatory rook syndrome. It's the NRS. And he's suffering from NRS right now. Non-participatory rook syndrome. It's a syndrome, in case you're wondering. I would love to capture this way. I would have 2XR. That's two times the number of rooks that I had. Two times one. I was going to say than you had, but I have an infinity times more rooks than you're using right now. Now I can play d5. Look at how I'm going to open up the center. The rule of thumb is, if the king is in the center, open it up. And look at that. The kings are definitely, definitely, de de def 
definitely in the center. His king. The rule of thumb is for his king. Whatever. <laughs> it's not like my king is going anywhere. And I can't wait to open this up. So if he captures, I take. And then he takes with knight. Putting a lot of defense on this two knights right there. And I'm not even winning it anymore. <sighs> this calls for thinking. Push, take. And I'm like, no. Darth Vader says that. And then I take this. And he takes back, no. Again, two knights defending his pawn. Oh, I have a rook too. So then I take him. Take, 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 take. And I'm ready to check away. Oh, yeah. He's going to block that with this bishop. And then a whoosh, my knight comes over here and takes that. And take, 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 take. And oh, no. A follower. I always say it's a follower. It actually is a notification that my house is on fire. But we'll just pretend it's a follower. That's good, too. And see what happens here. NPRS makes a better acronym according to Lighthouse. Great spelling of your name, L-Y-T-E-H-A-U-S. Lighthouse says that non-participatory rook syndrome, it should be a thing because it's pretty common in this game. Oh, chess, by the way, in case you're wondering what game this is. So it's good to have a name for things that are common. If you don't have a name for something, it's hard to think about it. So it's good to have names for things. NPRS is a great name, <laughs> don't you think? Yes. Basically, how you name something is you just make letters, put them together. And now, it's what I have envisioned. The future has been foreseen, foretold, and forwith spoken by my speaker machine, also known as me. So if, I, if he moves the bishop, that's destruction of him, okay? So what we need to do now is <laughs> get this frick of the game. I'm suffering from NPRS. Oh, look. That's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you can't move the bishop. Let's give him some time so he can sweat about this, right? Because if he moves the bishop, that's check destruction. I win, win all his rooks, so he can't move that. He can't move the rook either. I just take the bishop, his king. It can only move forward, okay? He can't take this. <gasps> Death again. Okay, so then I'm going to go here and here, and then that's pretty good. Or, yeah, that's what I'll do. Huh. This is great. Give him some time. The best time to give time to your opponent is when you are brutally checkmating them. Uh-oh. This could be problematic. Uh -oh. It was easy for him to find that move, by the way. It's because kings can only move forward. <laughs> like, duh. Of course he should move forward. I am in trouble. His rook is coming. No. Oh, I'm defending. I'm still alive. Ah. Ah. <laughs> he's giving me time now. That shows that he's really owning me. Okay. How can we survive? He's going to take my knight. Ah. No, I can't move my king at all. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Then he takes my knight. And then... Ah, I need more time. Just break breaker board, man. Okay, thank you. If I move here, he takes this. Yeah. And then I lose. <laughs> no! Help! I need more time! More time! No more time! <laughs> He's probably going to give me no retime because I've spelled it wrong. Oh, thank you. Okay, so if I take his pawn, he takes my knight. He sends me eyebrows. That's perfect. That's just what I need right now. And then, and then I play... I'm dead. No! <laughs> this guy's so smart. He's smarter than I am. How is that possible? Mm. What if I push the pawn? Then he takes it. Oh, you can see I'm grabbing my chin because I'm nervous. And he takes it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, th oh, thank you, thank you. That's what that says. Oh, thank you, thank you. He takes, I push. I push, he takes. Okay, so then my knight. It can move anywhere except useful places. I'm getting checkmated. Okay, defend the knight. This is the move. Defend the knight. Okay, it only took me like five minutes to find this move. Fortunately, he gave me those five minutes. So now, the knight's defending that. And if he checks, okay, so now I have time to play here. He takes the pawn. Then I go here. Ah, uh, my rook kick is coming out. <laughs> here, here's some time for you in exchange for the time you gave me. Okay, I, I think I'm not dead yet. Because this is pretty threatening. What's he going to do? Defend it. Ha, he has to defend it. I can also play here. It's pretty good. I'm not sure which one's better. Let's play here. This one looks very good, actually, because he can't defend this pawn except by being bad. Uh, because this knight is protecting everything. Yes! I found a solution! 
Oh no, another follower. Did you hear that follower? It is Lalit187. Thank you for following. Also, my house fire is out because my entire house is burned down. No problems there. At least I'm still alive in this chess game. B4 was the move. They were cheating it, chatting it. What's the difference in the chat? In the cheat box, they were putting B4. I wasn't looking there, of course, because it's the cheat box. And I only cheat uh, a couple times a game. Here's some more time for you. <laughs> He's just sweating. He's like, ah, definitely sweating. So I take this pawn. That's just easy. Easy, I just take it. Okay. Or I check him. If he advances, that's checkmate because kings can only go up. So he blocks it with something. He blocks it with a rook. Then I can take him with check. He takes with, and then take here. And I have a ton more pawns and I win. Or he blocks with the bishop. And that's pretty good too. So I guess I'll throw this intermezzo in there. Intermezzo is Italian. It's pronounced like this, intermezzo. It means intermezzo. It's not pronounced like that. It's intermezzo. And it means in between. Now I take that. And now I'm actually threatening this, which he can't take because the kings don't move that way. However, then he takes my pawn <laughs> and wins. So let's not die. Let's just continue playing chess. So with kings only moving forward, I can pretty much win now. I could just bring this pawn up here. <laughs> he can't do anything about it. And check him if he has to go past it. Okay, I guess he's got that. Let's leave. Let's, let's leave the king... Let's push this one. Let's leave the king on a dark square to leave him entirely impotent, which means he can't have children. And we'll move here. Nope, that's pretty dumb. I want to find a check. I want to check him. So maybe here. This looks good. This looks good. This square. Perfect. And then his bishop will need to rest, but there will be no rest for the bishop. Because I can then use this pawn. So his bishop will need to rest right here. The knight's actually better than the bishop, I think. Because it can attack dark squares. <laughs> the bishop cannot. If you study the motions of the bishop carefully, you will see it cannot attack. I just wanted to draw that. <laughs> I just wanted an excuse <laughs> to draw that. Kind of an excuse kind of guy, you know how it is. And then actually, why am I doing all that? I can just destroy him this way. Fantastic. Oh, this is checkmate. Oh, perfect. Wow. Thank you for that extra minute. GG. Close game, man. I I did not find B4 for a long time. Wow. Very, very close. We have time for one more game. I'm going to play against 3D Dave. This is going to be fun. Thank you, by the way, whoever that was. Chessboard Breaker. Enjoyed those games very much, and I appreciate that extra time. You deserve that win. So thank you. I took what you deserved. What a story. Let's see if 3D Dave wants to play this crazy chess variant. The king may only move straight forward. He says okay, but he has to make a chess move. I being the black pieces today. You play the black pieces, that's how I know. Okay, so he's, he's planning something. D5 looks good. Mm. Anything else to talk about? This is episode 489, I believe. Yes, episode 489. So what that tells me is I've pretty much said everything there is to say already in previous episodes. What if you move the f-pawn? That's pretty smart. I mean, think about it. Your king can't go there, so hmm, so you shouldn't move there. Well, that's logical also. If you move the f-pawn, it's similar to not moving it. That's my new theory. I'm going to play e6, bishop d6, maybe c5. C5 seems good. We'll throw the knight here. Why not? That's what I say. Why not? I want to activate the rook. Don't want to suffer from whatever that acronym was that I've forgotten because it was so good. The best acronyms are forgotten immediately. And I don't remember at all what it was, so perfect. Oh, look, I'll activate my rook. That'll be great. Looking good. Somehow, even though I have the black pieces, I'm the one with all the huge center. Oh, and then there's him, too. The two of us together are the ones with the huge center. F4 is a great move for him, I think, because he can now use his rook somewhat actively. Okay. I can tolerate that chess move. 
with this chess move. Kind of interested actually in pushing e5 here. Could be fun. This knight might come in this way. I feel like I'm fighting for space. You definitely want space in this variant. Because with your king trapped, well, it's a theory anyway. F5 maybe. F5 could be good. Kind of cut off his rook. F5. No more E5. It's all F5 today. We're going to bring the knight in to this hole. Seems good. Leave the bishop as being super stupid for now. Eventually, it will still be super stupid. That bishop is going to be stupid for this entire game. Next game, though, it's going to be great. This game, it is super... Hey, wait! It can now be a thing. Okay. I don't know if I should take that. Hmm. Let's not take it. I should probably have played Rook F8 here. Because you should actually use your whole army. That's like rule number one. That's all I talk about. That's why I don't do it. Well, let's capture this way. What do you think? Or this way. Those are my two choices. I'm going this way so that his rook stays inactive. He's still finding a way to activate his rook because he's smart. But we'll see how it goes. We will see. Okay, the inactive bishop is fixed by dying. Perfect. And now the rook is active. I like that. I think he made a mistake. 3D Dave, I think that was an error, trading a knight doing a thing for a bishop doing a nothing and activating an enemy rook. Now, if you're me, that's good. You helped me. But if you're you, which latest study show, yes. Oh, look. Oh, look. This was checkmate. Almost. <laughs> it's pretty deadly. Oh, look, I can still do it. Checkmate. I'll send him a mouth drooling. Where's the drool? There we go. <gasps> That's checkmate right there. Wow. GG. GPG. Good, pathetic game. Good, pathetic game, 3D Dave. That was amazing. It ended so quickly and rapidly and also fast. I was amazed by that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for watching this show. I hope you enjoyed because I enjoyed I want to play you again, 3D Dave. Why would I end the show when I could play more chess with 3D Dave? I want to do that. I'm going to play more crazy. If you want to. Want to play again? Want to play again? <laughs> no, this doesn't have a space in it. Want to play again? Games are really fun. Want to play one? Let's do it. He will play again. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to test the limits of the center control theory. The theory is you take the most space and you win. So we're just going to push pawns and take all the space this game. We're not going to let any space go untaken. This seems good already. Wow, I've only just started. <laughs> Look at this diagonal. Oh, I'm going to wreck him. I should wreck him right now. Eh, I'll wreck him later. Bishop, queen, that'll be pretty wrecky, very wreckful. Let's do it. Oh, okay. He's bah. He's bah. How do I... How do I bah his bah this way? Pretty good. Yeah. Now let's wreck him. Eh, I can't quite wreck him yet, but how do I take more space? C4, but I just don't feel like that's a great move. I go from having a pretty solid center to all of a sudden backward pawn. If you don't know what that is, it's a pawn that's backward. Now you know. Maybe I'll tell you more about a backward pawn someday that isn't now. So if a pawn has all its friends move past it, like this one, if this moved past, and it's on an open file, then it's under attack by things that... You know, all the theories of pawns, basically, theory of pawn, is about pawns are so stupid, and so you don't want to waste time with cool stuff, like things that aren't pawns, defending the pawns. That's really the theory of pawns. So like these two pawns are bad. Why? Because if they get attacked, you can only defend them with things that aren't pawns, like bishops, like bishop defending a pawn, bishop doing a thing that is the thing. See what I mean? Pawns can't defend pawns if they're doubled up like this. That's why doubled pawns are bad. The other reason is that the backer pawn is super stupid. But that, that's the main reason, is the pawns can't defend the pawns. This is really good, see pawns defending pawns, because these are really bad pieces down here. They're not even pieces, they're pawns. But fortunately, they can make some use of themselves by defending the next guy in line. On the other hand, if you can't defend that pawn with a pawn, you have to use something cool to defend it. So that's why backwards pawns are bad. If I were to play here, and he were to capture, and then this pawn couldn't advance, so he'd really want to control this square so it couldn't advance, then the only way to defend this is with something cool. That's why it's bad. Now you know. So if I were to take this, and he takes, and I take, then he plays here. He's threatening destruction. 
so I would bring my knight out, preventing destruction. And then I would then go here, 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 and win. Great! Okay, let's do it! Looks good to me. I'm actually thinking I'll move my king up too. Just a square. One or two squares. Nothing major. Just so I can use another rook. Or even better, it would be like moving the rook out somehow. This defense. Good. Okay. He's coming for me. So this is where I advance my king. No. No. Oh, this is where we just win. <laughs> better better knight c6. You better go back. Because, <laughs> oh no, that's not very smart, actually. He would just take me. <laughs> okay, I'm actually in a super big hole of yucky stuff because of this issue. Oh no, and he's not going to give me a ton of time either. <laughs> okay, apparently, this is not a brilliant move. He would capture me for free. So we're going to try to survive this. Seems maybe possible. I've brought my rook back here so it can defend the rank. I've cheated, however. So that is somewhat concerning to me. Oh, <laughs> apparently I can't do that. Okay. Kings can capture forward, so I'm dumb. We agree. So my king is now checkmated. Ah, I should have ended the show while I wasn't... Wait, 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 wait. He didn't see it. Never mind. <laughs> he could have played here. <laughs> Checkmate. But lucky for me, I am lucky. So now I can win. Man, that was really close, but now I'm the winning player. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That went from 0 to 60 to 0 pretty fast. This has been Chess VCD. Thanks for watching.